A house that was built more than 100 years ago hit the market in Wheeling for three quarter million dollars and has taken the internet by storm. Howgate Manor Mansion is a secluded and quaint destination that people from all over the country and even Canada have been see seeking. News 9's Gianna Dupre has the details. Many people did not know about this historic mansion that sits here in Wheeling, not even the neighbors. But as soon as it hit the market, its timeless architecture is all people can talk about. The Howgate Manor sits in the trees of Woodsdale off Route 88 on 4.34 acres of land. Private, quaint, and truly interesting. John Ryan and his wife bought the house 12 years ago and have been restoring it to its original state. They recently put it on the market at a list price of $750,000 and couldn't believe what happened next. Like a song sung by a man in the woods, the listing went viral. With over 60,000 views on Zillow alone, Ren says he is receiving calls from all over the country and even Canada. I decided we put it on some of those old house face groups that I follow religiously. And because I, I love seeing all the houses around the country and it just went insane. But there's a reason this house is so sought after. It was built in 1911 by George Laughlin. All the materials were built on site from the brick to the woodwork and everything in between. It was originally called Anna's Knoll for Laughlin's wife, but was renamed to Howgate Manor once the next owners got it, the Holloways. It was the talk of the town in the 1900s when it was being built just as it is now being sold. Oh, it was like a big ordeal. Like there was there were newspaper articles with updates on the progress of, of the house. So it was a big deal. When the Wrens bought it, it had been made into several apartments by the previous owners in the 1950s. But now it's a complete rewind into yesteryear. You know, how would you describe what this house really is? It's to me, it's a gateway to the past and it's so secluded and peaceful. And every time we're up here, it's just like our own little getaway. The Wrens took the place apart and brought back its original essence. The hardwood floors were uncovered, six layers of wallpaper was removed, the original plaster from the ceilings was restored, and many rooms were reimposed. Like this butler pantry that was turned into a laundry room from the previous owners, now back to its original walls, countertops, and kitchen window. The kitchen is a chef's dream. The double sinks, huge ovens, and tons of counter space. Dozens of windows fill the green room, and rumor has it this is the first built-in radio in Wheeling. The Rants have also restored the four-floor elevator. Now that is an old-time elevator. Yeah, I <laughs> love the door. It works great. And a neat precautionary was put in back then to save the floors from disaster. In each floor, there was a fire hose, which you don't ever see. So the hookups are still here, just not the fire hose. The grand staircase was also fully restored, traced with natural sunlight and dark hardwood. We put a lot of just into this area. Just in this main staircase yeah. here. I mean, it's the no, first thing you see, so. Yeah, and Britain, especially really with these nice. stained glass windows. Up the stairs are two floors of nine spacious bedrooms, Jack and Jill bathrooms, and lots of closet and storage space. And fully renovated carriage house out back with three bedrooms and a three car garage. But 12 years of hard work came with a price. Very expensive. There are times where we're like, what did we get into? But it's been a labor of love. And a lot of it, I learned from a lot of people around here. That there's just so many people in this town that have the same love we do for the history of these homes and want to preserve them. So with the community's love, the country's love, and Ren's love for history, the Howgate Manor House lives on. For more information on the house and how to reach out to the agent and owner, you can head to our website, WTOV9.com. Reporting in Wheeling, I'm Gianna Dupre, News 9. I'm Gianna Dupre, thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch and please take some time to subscribe to our channel.